Hi there everyone, welcome to another rig building session with Master Carp and this one is for all those dedicated carp, carpy guys out there. We're going to be doing chod rigs and, I'm, and I will be doing this in a two part session because there are a variety of ways of tying chod rigs and I want to go through the most important ones. Now, a lot of guys out there are using Kamakura hooks. Now, we all know the Kamakura hooks are exceptionally sharp, but the points do go uh, or do get blunt or fold over when you get a good fish. Now, this particular rig will cater for these Kamakura chodis, and that's why I want to do that first. So, without further ado, I'm going to be using 15 pound mouth trap. I will be using a medium rig ring and I will be using a size 6 Kamakura chod. And then the other two or item that I need is my chod swivels. So let's start off by taking approximately 25 centimeters of mouth trap. And before I start, let me just take my medium rig ring out of the packet there we go so i start off by joining the two ends like that because what i need to do is i need to create what they call a slip d so let me just fold the line like that now i take my kamakura Put the packet out of the way turning the hook on its belly i'm going to push that folded piece through the back end like that now i'm going to take my rig ring and slide the rig ring over the next stage of the session is by just folding this line over pulling it tight and then pushing it slightly back there i've got my perfect slip d now i need to take my shot swivel put the line through and let's say we're going to be looking at about a centimeter and a half to two centimeters and I'm going to fold, keep the swivel in between my thumb and forefinger. Now I'm going to just take this line around once and through the, in, the, the opening again. So I've got a figure of eight. Now comes the part where you've got to wet the line Take the puller tool and another puller tool and I first need to just pull that slightly down and now I'm going to just pull the knot nice and tight. There we go. Now all I need to do is just cut the line off, take my lighter burn it and dab it push this part back again and there I've got the perfect choddy now let's say this hook got damaged and I need to put another hook on I basically just slide this whole section back and just get that out of the way Take the hook off, or first take my ring off, come on the little ring, there we go, and pull the hook out. And now all I do again, just fold a double, take my new hook, push the new hook through, take my rig ring again, 
slide it over and pop the line over the hook. Now it's a matter of just pulling it tight again, manipulating the line so it just sits perfect again. And there we go. I've got the choddy sorted again. The last stage of this rig is to put a bait on. But I want to quickly show you something. If your pop-up is not buoyant enough, let, like for instance this one, I soaked it in isotonic goo, but it is just a little bit, you know, um, uh, it's less buoyant than, than the original one from the packet. You basically just take your bait drill and you drill out a little bit from the bait. There we go. And then you just take a piece of cork, put the cork inside and cut it off like that. Now I can take my baiting needle, I can press my baiting needle through very carefully like that and I can attach the bait. Now I take my floss and I put the floss through the rig ring like there, slide it through like with all my bait presentations, I like to utilize the floss to actually keep the bait in place. So I just back it up so it just touches the, the ring. And now I just push the bait over. And now I literally just let the bait touch that rig ring. Take that off. Now I just cut a piece of this floss off like that. So I... I'm left with a little piece like that. Now I just take the lighter, burn it, dab it, and there we go. A perfectly presented chud rig. Now for the tank test. And there you have a perfectly presented chud. Give it a try.